So, you just grab your yarn. And this thing is really simple to use. So on the back here, see here they've got this little lever. This is what holds it in place so it doesn't fold in half. Now, what I do is I just wrap the yarn around that screw, which is a little loose, and then you turn it slightly to make it looser or wider, for it to slide in and turn it just to lock that in place so it doesn't move too much. And then you take your thread, your yarn, up and over. So, you'll need scissors and a needle to weave in your ends so and cut off the end, but we won't need them for a little while. So you can see I'm using a thick and thin yarn, but you can use any type of yarn, it's fine. Um, pop that out there. So, we've come up over the top here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go straight down, so it's straight opposite, and then we're just going to carry around the back there and up through that notch there and then straight up around the back and through that notch there and what we're doing if I just quickly go backwards and forwards on this side a minute up to the top there so we've just gone down you can see on the back here it's creating these little bands at the back and you can count them to know how many rounds you've done Obviously at the moment we've not even done a whole round because we've only got them there, we haven't gone around. But the way you tell if you've done a whole round is every single one of these should be covered. And I will show you more of that in a second. So once we've got to this, we're just going to turn it. So we're now back at the empty sides again. So we're going to come back up over there. Back down and around. So this is really, really simple. And obviously you can go much quicker. Um, I'm just going to put my yarn on the floor and it might be better. Um, you can go much quicker. Uh, I'm just going to go a little slower so you can see. Now it looks like we've done a whole round there, doesn't it? But if you turn it over, you can see we still have every other one of these not covered. Only one of these is. That means we've actually only done half a round. So we're going to turn it again. I'm going to go back up over and we're just going to go over the same space. So you're going to have two strands, see we've got the two strands there, in every slot. And that's going to actually finish off the round. So I'm going to go around, back up through there, go again. So every section has two strands over it. And then if we look at the back now, we are back where we started and every one has a strand across the back. And that is one whole turn. So you always do the whole turns to give an even coverage across the whole thing. So everywhere you go should have two strands across and down.